Democrats from high-tax blue states are insisting on the repeal of the rule that limits state and local deductions to $10,000, which was enacted as part of the 2017 tax law. Uh, the congressman from New Jersey on today, t- Tuesday's issued a joint statement vowing to oppose any efforts to change the tax code unless the SALT deduction is restored. Okay, so no SALT, no deal, they said, the Democrats. Democrats from states hit hardest by a SALT cap have been pushing for the repeal ever since it was enacted, as I mentioned, arguing that it hurts middle class taxpayers, encourages people to move. This is the key. It's not the middle class taxpayers that, that are hurt. They're less likely to move. It also encourages people to move to other states and thereby threaten state tax revenue. So everybody else in America is subsidizing the, these richer people in these, uh, in, these, in these high tax states, high property tax states, right? So we're paying, they're not paying into the system because they want to limit it. And when you take away that deduction and people start paying a lot more taxes because of it, rather than lowering your local property taxes to keep them there, they want to limit the federal government's ability to, to tax them so they can leave that tax ability to tax them to, to the states. That's really what's going on here, right? That's what's going on. Uh, so let's, let, me, let me talk about this. Um, okay. On August 27th, Illinois Governor Pritzker signed a law adopting an elective pass-through entity level tax as a workaround to the $10,000 limitation on the federal deduction for state and local taxes. The Illinois measure passed both houses and the state legislature. Well, now it's been signed by the governor. So it already, it has passed. It is now law. The the pass-through entity, so again, remember a pass-through entity is a subchapter S, uh, or, or a subchap, you know, corporation or LLC, or a partnership. The pass-through entity election allows partnerships, S corporations, and limited liability companies to elect annually to pay the entity, the entity level tax at eight, four nine four point nine five percent. So there's a tax on pass-throughs, right? Because the pass-throughs don't pay taxes. The if there's a profit in the company. Instead of the company paying the tax, it flows through to the owner of that company, especially single owners and most S corporations. I'd say, I'd say most, uh, if not most, then many are the, is a one owner or one family that owns that pass through, and it passes to them, and they pay the tax on it. So what Illinois has done, and I, I don't want to get too complicated about this, but what is what Illinois has done is they have they have allowed they'll now allow these pass through entities to deduct the tax pay the tax from the company and if the company pays the tax then the aver- then the income falls or the profit I should say falls for that company that passes on to the owner so now the owner will pay he doesn't have to worry about deducting it from his federal taxes because it never appears as income. And then there's then Illinois is allowing them a credit on their state personal state tax return. So in this way, they're getting around it. So people, the millionaires and billionaires, those who are making the most, those who earn the most in our society, are now have a way around paying more taxes. So when you hear that, that when you hear that the uh, that the millionaires and billionaires we're going to make them pay their fair share, every chance that they get for millionaires and billionaires to pay their fair share, they will find a way around it. There's always a way around it. There's always been a way around it. Uh, since I was a little boy, I've heard that, and, and that was a long time ago. Uh, I've heard that. The millionaire that we need to get the rich people to pay their fair share, and that and we still say the same thing: they should pay their fair share. And when they implement laws to have them pay more, they find a way around it with the help of politicians. So these 
These, this is an Illinois law. They had to really bend over backwards to find a way to stop it. And so they're saving money on their federal taxes, not on their state taxes. And again, what they're afraid of is if you pay too much in taxes because of the state you live in, you might move. You, right, you vote with your feet and they don't want you to move because they need your money. And so that's what's really going around. The state and local income tax it has been avoided in Illinois and many other states. I, I should probably find a list of states because there, there is a list of states that have implemented similar measures. Um, a new Illinois ta tax law aims to help small business save money on their taxes. But it's not really about small business, right? It's not, it's, it's not, that's not who's really benefiting. Now, don't get me wrong. They are small businessmen, even those people. Now, I'm not against people not paying taxes and lowering their tax burden. And I'm not really for the SALT uh, limitation. But if you, you can't say on one hand, you want, the, you want the millionaires and billionaires to pay more taxes. And then on the other hand, work to eliminate that very tax to make them pay more so they can pay less. You can't have it both ways, in my mind. Uh, again, I might be wrong. But anyway, this is, but here's another thing that it does. It really complicates your tax return now, right? So you can save money on taxes. And, and I, as a tax preparer, when we prepare our small business and business professionals tax returns, we will take advantage of this in a heartbeat. We want our, ta our clients to pay less in taxes. And this is one way for, let, for them to do that. And so we will take advantage of this workaround every chance we get. I'm all for the workaround. I just want to point out the hypocrisy on the, on, you know, those that say that they should pay more. And I've been telling, I've been saying this every time I say it, that it's, that they're the boogeymen because it's fake. It's, it's false. They're not going after them. They're going after you. They're always going after you. And that's why you need help, right? That's why we help people with taxes, right? When, when, the, when you owe the government money, the IRS, we help you with that. When you need to file your tax return and everybody does, we help you limit how much you have to pay by following the laws ac accordingly. So this is a way for us to do that, to help you pay less. And that's important. Okay, so so uh, now, again, if you found this important, and it is important, uh, and you find it interesting, uh, that, please share it. Like, share, subscribe. If you subscribe on Facebook, I mean on uh, YouTube, uh, write something in the, in the comment section that you subscribe, then we'll reply. 